In today's daytime and hour, women are acknowledging the fact that they have masculine energy. Men are acknowledging the fact that these women are not submissive or cooperative. Today, I'm gonna tell you one thing that you should never find yourself doing as a man. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, on this channel, man, I cover uh, a lot of different topics from current events, relationships, you know, how to farming, agricultural, you know, construction, just anything that we can tie back to you know, biblical origins and the lifestyle that we're supposed to live. But a lot of men find themselves, you know, five years into a relationship, 10 years into a relationship, 15 years into a relationship, 20 years into a relationship, begging a woman to submit to them. And this is what I'll tell you, man, that is, you are entering into a feminine space as a man when you start asking and begging a woman to submit to you. A woman is either going to submit or she is not. And what has happened, I want you to realize, see, you fell for the okie doke of thinking that she was genuinely into you but she was genuinely into your resources. And this is the reason why you were able to, to, to make it as far as you did in that relationship because you were providing her a silver spoon. And there, 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 there never has been any expectation for her to submit. Even from the beginning, if you trace back, when did you ever give her something to submit to far as giving her a command, like the Most High Yah expects our submission. And that's from a masculine stance. That's from a patriarchal stance. You know, he commands us to obey him. It says, if you love me, you will obey my commandments. And, and I carry that same, I carry that same concept in relationships, in marriage. If you love me, you will obey my commands men find themselves oh baby please you know if you would just submit and you know not give me all this lip and all of that i'm telling you brother it's not worth it it's not worth it and this is what i want you to realize man uh women are wired a lot of women are wired back uh, backwards and when i say backwards her submission is often to a man that's worthless I want you to think about this, man. You know, when you think about why women like the bad boys, men, you don't even need to strive to be that guy. You don't need to try to uh, reprogram yourself because she's wired to be infatuated with iniquity, wired to be infatuated with sin. And if you are experiencing this with a woman who is not a virgin and it has some bodies on her, I don't care how many they are, there's a strong possibility that the man who she says she would never be with because he's worthless, he ain't no good, he's this or that, he didn't have to beg for her to submit. Neither did he had to fulfill a responsibility. Neither did he had to fulfill an obligation. Neither was he a spiritual covering. Neither was he a provider, but she gave him complete submission, complete access. And here you are potentially having to uh, clean up the pieces of that, uh, you know, sexual and spiritual imprint that he has left upon her. I want you to understand, man, when she cannot to submit 
and you are a genuinely good guy, there's a high probability, man, she only submits to toxic men. You know, you got some women that have been with men that'll haul off and hit them upside their head and they'll submit to that man, no problem. No problem. Women have came out and said, man, we, we, we want toxic men. We prefer toxic men. It gives us an emotional rise. You know, it's not as boring. And I'm telling you, man, you just need to, you need to, like, outside of, you know, praying for somebody, like, I, I get it. You may want to pray for her, lay hands on her, but if her herself does not want to be delivered from what she's going through, man, it's not going to work. You're, you're, you're asking the most high y'all to change somebody that doesn't want to change, and that's not what he's in the business of doing. If you choose to be rebellious, then that's the that's the bed you make for yourself. But what I'm trying to get you to realize, man, is you don't need to waste time, you know, uh, saying, man, we're working on this relationship and I'm just trying to get her to realize that she needs to submit. Man, this woman might be, man, there, there is 50 and 60 year old women that have walked away from good men and let relationships fail due to their lack of submission. And it's not until in their 50s, in their 60s, when they got these cats, you know, life is hitting them and they're looking back on the past. It's not until then that they say, man, I, I should have, I definitely should have submitted because he was a good guy. He, he, he made sure I didn't go without. I was truly provided for and loved as a woman. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you the harsh reality as a man. You know, and here's the thing, man. When you're dealing with an unsubmissive woman that you are finding yourself begging her to submit, like I said, man, you are moving in feminine energy. That's not masculine. As a man, man, you have to stand on your square, stand in your backbone and say, hey, as long as you're willing to pay the consequences for your disobedience, I'm fine with it. And you have to let it be. You know, there, there, there's men out there that have attachments to unsubmissive, uncooperative women, and it will destroy. It will, it will destroy your confidence and self-esteem as a man. It'll wear you down. That's the quickest way to emasculate a man. You getting on your knees, oh baby, please, you know, I, 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 I do this and I'll do that. If you just submit, the most high y'all is not uh, coming from that angle. Most high y'all always comes from a patriarchal stand. Violate my commands if you want. And you're gonna have a uh, hell fire to pay. You're gonna have a lake of fire to pay. You're gonna be outside knocking on the gates, wishing you would have obeyed my commandment. See, man, you need to start looking at a, a woman's love as her obedience to you. You know, a woman that says, swears up and down, I, I, I do love you. You know, I really love you. Man, that ain't nothing but a feeling in her head. But love is an action. Like what child wants to be told that their parents love them while they live in poverty and the parents choose not to provide for them? Like what child wants to hear that? At some point, they're gonna realize, man, love is an action word. And your love, only thing it made me do was feel flusters inside. That feeling only made me feel butterflies inside. But when it came time to actually uh, the warming of my body as a child, oh, you didn't have that kind of that kind of love that was gonna provide clothes and food and a roof and shelter over my head. Man, I, I, I'm I'm hitting men with the cold hearted truth. I often tell men, do not lead with your wallet. Do not lead with your titles. Do not lead with all of this. If a woman doesn't want to be with you and submit to you solely off of you are a good all around man, man, and in disregard, cancel culture. You know, she's not worth it. Because you got to think, man, these, okay, how many times have we seen this, man? 
these women get with these men that's that's high profile you know nba nfl it don't even matter it could be a ceo all these and you were like man i'm the man man i got this woman but she's not submitted to you she's submitted to the lifestyle and when she's submitted to the lifestyle her actions and her words are gonna be verbally unsubmissive. You're gonna see her actions. And you got men that, that sign a state issued marriage license with women like this. Oh, that's, that's really a bad case. That's why I tell men, you need to go for the women that's genuinely head over heels for you, that it, it, is pouring in their time, you know, showing an investment, uh, utilizing their time that they want to be with you. There's a difference. A lot of these women are, are, are so used to men being chased, they think they don't have to do anything because they say in their mind, in their rebellion, well, there's another man out there. If you want me to submit, there's another man out there that's gonna tolerate me not submitting. And, and, and there is, but these relationships aren't gonna prosper. So, you know, I, I, I've told, I've told several women throughout you know, my life, and I'm married, I'm happily married, by the way, but I've told several women's like, hey, hey, you, 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 hey, the most high y'all gave us all free will. But when my will is right in line with the will of the most high y'all, and you choose to disobey my will, my commandment, my instructions, hey, don't be surprised if that thing backfires on you. You're gonna eat every word. And I, I've stood flat-footed and said, hey, make your choice, I'm cool with it. But one thing the Most High Yah has never told a man is to doggone beg a woman. That's like, that's like Adam in the garden begging Eve to submit. Adam should have smacked that doggone fruit out of her hand. You crazy woman, you're gonna damn us all. He should have went to the Most High Yah. Most High Yah, please forgive me. Hey, I, I straighten this out. But what'd he do? He was too busy acquiescing and capitulating, eating the fruit. Begging no doggone rebellious woman to submit. I just want you to submit. Man, that, let, me, let me be honest with you. That pussy ain't that good. <laughs> that it ain't that good. I'm gonna keep it real with you. There's a high probability you're whipped by a freak. I'm gonna be honest with you. The, the, the unsubmissive women are often the most freakiest. Often the most freakiest. Why? Because in exchange for being submissive where they don't have it, they got to have something. Something to hook you in. So it's the it's, it's the freakiness. I tell you, man, a lot of a lot of men will make this mistake. You'll consistently chase a woman who's not emotionally, physically you know, spiritually attached to you, but she sees what you've done for yourself. Man, you drive a nice car. Man, you, 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 you always got food in your refrigerator. You got food in that deep freezer. You got a nice 80 inch TV on the wall. Your lights ain't getting cut off. You got nice furniture. You got nice clothes. She likes your swagger. You know, you got a, you got a, you got a, a, a pocket full of uh, you know, disposable income that you can spend on her. And women see that, man. High pergamous women see that. What makes you think a high pergamous woman is going to submit to you? The word says, Sarah honored Abraham by calling her him master. That's how she showed her submission and reverence for Abraham, by calling him master. A lot of these women will call you daddy for a price, but it's not genuine submission. That's not when you hit rock bottom and, and you're at your weakest point in life, maybe maybe physically because you're, you're, you're sick or something. That's not a woman that's, that's still going to uh, guide you in the right way because you are mentally and physically weak. And so that's a woman that's gonna take advantage of you when the opportunity presents itself. I tell you, man, if, if you find yourself, find yourself begging a woman to submit to you, leave her standing where she is. Cut your losses. I don't care if you got 
Let me be honest with you, man. I don't care if you have to, uh, you have to sever it and there's some financial ties because you, you finance some stuff that, man, leave her standing. Start that clock. Start that clock of awakening for her because it might be 10, 15 years before she realized, you know, what she missed out on by not submitting to you. Cut your losses, man. Just, just, just hit the shutdown button. You know, whatever you guys have shared together, just, just sever it. You know, if you know anything about military operations, man, there's a helicopter called a Chinook. You know, that's the one with two propeller blades. And there's another one called a Black Hawk. Okay. And when it comes to air assault operations as far as sling loading, carrying cargo in a big cargo net hooked to like a lanyard to the helicopter, man, if that helicopter starts having any difficulty, man, the pilot knows, man, I'm not going to risk this million dollar helicopter for, you know, a piece of $10,000 cargo. We're going to cut sling load because the, the, the actual helicorp, the actual helicopter is the resource. It's the brains. That cargo is not getting moved without the helicopter. So you don't sacrifice yourself as a man to take on the cargo of a worthless woman. You cut sling load. You know, if a helicopter is climbing over a mountain, this is in life. If a helicopter, you know, when I was in Afghanistan, we were in these uh, Chinooks, man, having to carry fuel tanks because the, far, the, the, the way would be too far in carrying cargo. And if we were going over one of these mountains, because that's the only way that we could get over to where we were going, and that helicopter started straining, you know what they would do? Cut the cargo, cut sling load, or a, a, a board mission. We're gonna, we're either gonna take this back, turn around, you know, because this helicopter will not make it. And in life, man, that's how it's gonna be. Some of these women will not be able to climb the mountain with you. They, they, they can't do it. And I want you to understand, carrying a load as a man up a mountain while pulling a doggone donkey that doesn't want to be pulled. The donkey pulling you the other way down the mountain, you know you got to get over the ridge. You got to get over the mountain. Who does that? Cut sling load. Cut sling load. It's not worth Even if you got kids, man, this is a hard one for men to hear. Even if you got kids, cut sling load, man, because your kids are watching you. Your sons and daughters are watching you. Your daughter will watch you beg for a woman to submit to you. And in your mind, you're trying to keep uh, your family together, but the family is, is, is spiritually, when it comes to you and the woman, you guys are spiritually uncohesive. Your son is gonna learn the behaviors from you of begging women to submit. A man begging a woman to submit has never lined up with righteousness. I'm telling you, man, I, I, early on in life, man, I found myself making these mistakes. And you know what? I, 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 if I would have just cut sling load, man, you would have saved so much time. You could potentially get in front of a woman, you know, who is genuinely interested in you, making effort, contrary to knowing what you have, contrary to knowing what's in your bank account. She could see you in that work truck. She could see you looking dusty, but it's genuinely in you. And she said, you know what, I, I, I'll submit to you. 100%. What you say goes. It ain't no, uh, see, here's another one. When a woman doesn't want to submit, she's gonna try to give you ultimatums as if she got a damn choice. Man, you out of your mind. Give me no ultimate. Well, if, 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 if you don't do the shut up, I cut sling load on this whole operation. I'll be like Job sitting on that pile of dung, shiza or shit in Western culture. Sitting there and you'd be like, man, that dude is crazy, but I'm not budging. I'm not budging on that. 
Man, this is, as a man, a woman's submission should be non-negotiable. Non-negotiable. If these women choose not to submit to your righteousness as a man, your leadership, your resources, your provision, your protection, spiritual and physical, man, let them suffer. Let them suffer. Man, my grandmother had, had a cold saying. My grandparents always used to say it. My grandmother and grandfather. Man, they, did, they, didn't, they didn't use certain words too often, but when they did, it was often around sayings. A hard head makes a soft ass. Took me a little bit of age and experience to be able to understand that. Hard-headed women are gonna feel it the worst in the end. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking it gun barrel straight. Bow.